lot of times with these problems, there are multiple ways of doing them. There are multiple ways of doing this problem besides the way that I'm going to show you. But let's just start with, let's just do it the way we've been doing it, okay? The LCD here is just x minus 3. Now, beware of where most people mess up. Can y'all guess what most people forget to do? Multiply it by the 9 as well. Most people forget if there's just a single constant term, they forget to multiply it there too. All right, so the canceling leaves us with x. The canceling leaves us with 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and distribute that 9. So we've got negative 8x. When we subtract the 9x over, usually I don't make my variable negative, but we already had constants on the right side. And then 3 minus 27 is negative 24, so divide by negative 8, x is 3. Now, if we go back to check this, if we plug 3 back in for x, what's going to happen? You get what to zero? The denominator is going to be zero. Can we divide by zero? No, that is a big no-no. So even though we get three as an answer, we've got to throw it out. This one is no solution. So you can put a zero with a line through it, or you can write no solution. Now don't write zero, okay, because if you write zero, that means that the answer is zero, and the answer is not zero. The answer is that there is no answer. When we plug 3 back into the original problem, look what's going to happen. 3 minus 3 is 0. We've got 0 in the denominator. We can't divide by 0. So we want to do respect to the denominator to the denominator. Yes. You should always check. That's the biggest thing that you have to check for on these um, is does it make the denominator 0. If you do your arithmetic right, your answer should be correct. But you got to make sure that it doesn't make this is what we call an extraneous solution. You get it as an answer, but when you plug it back in, it doesn't work. Okay, this is an extraneous solution. If you've never heard that term before, that's what that means. You get it as an answer, but it doesn't work when you plug it back in. Now, the only time it's going to be an extraneous solution is if it gives you zero in the denominator. Just because you plug it back into your calculator and something doesn't match up does not automatically mean that it's an extraneous solution. It probably means that you didn't type something in wrong, or you didn't type something in right. Uh, if you plug it in and your calculator says error divided by zero, that's when it's an extraneous solution. It, yeah. If you tell your calculator to divide by zero, it will say error divided by zero. Yes, and by the way, 0 divided by 0 is something that we call an indeterminate form. So, anyways, side note. <clears throat> okay, let's do another one like this. And then our college people are going to do this. All right, 3 over x plus 3 is equal to 5 over 2x plus 6 plus 1 over x minus 2. Now, this may look like, oh crap, we have three separate denominators, but do we really? Because you should factor that middle denominator and you see that there is an overlap. There's an overlap with the first denominator. So our LCD here is 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. And it gets all the pieces from all the denominators and it doesn't repeat anything. Okay, so 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2, 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2, 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. Don't multiply it out. <clears throat> See what cancels. So in the first one, the x plus 3's cancel, so I'm going to go ahead and multiply 2 times 3 to give me 6. 
in the second one, the 2's cancel and the x plus 3 cancels, so I've got 5 times x minus 2. Plus, don't lose that plus sign in there. For the last one, the x minus 2 cancels, so we have 2 times x plus 3. At this point, we've got to distribute those constants and then solve the equation. So we have 6x minus 12 is equal to 5x minus 10 plus 2x plus 6. You've got to combine the like terms on the right side before you start moving things from side to side. So we have 7x minus 4. And then we get x is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 does not cause any of our denominators to be 0. Negative 8 does not cause any of the denominators to be 0. We get negative 5, we get what, negative 10, and negative 10. So, no issues there. Granted that I did my arithmetic correctly, negative 8 is the correct answer. I'm not going to take the time to plug it into the calculator. I'm pretty So, what I need you to do